Here's a video of someone performing a dangerous action at an intersection. They're backing up at the intersection and that is not acceptable on the road. And when you go on the test, that will get marked as a dangerous action. So coming up here, the light is red. The vehicle approaching here on the right, is go they're going to just disregard the stop line here and just pull forward. And this is why we need to stop before the stop line here because we need to check to see if anyone's using this crosswalk. So the, the habit of getting into, I'll just quickly make a right turn here, uh, catches up with these drivers when they just pull in and realize, hey, wait a minute, there's people using the crosswalk and then they feel embarrassed. They want to back up and if there's a vehicle behind them, they might collide with them. So again, just pulling in here is not the strategy. This is why we need that formal stop before the stop line. And then we shoulder check right to see if there's anyone else coming from their blind spot. If it's clear and it's, no one's approaching from this direction, then they can go forward into this spot to check cross traffic. If it's clear, one last shoulder check to the right and they can make the right turn on a red. So making a right turn on a red is not as simple as I'll just pull in quickly and make the turn. As you see, unfortunately, a lot of drivers doing things like of this nature. And we'll see what this uh, truck does here. And this truck did a rolling stop. They kind of slowed down, but they didn't actually make a full stop. And then they just quickly made a turn. So that also will get marked as a fail on the test as well. You need that complete stop before the stop line, before you think about making a right turn. 